In the immortal words of the late Sherm Feller, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Fenway Park. This little lyric little band box of a ballpark opened for business back in 1912. A mere nine years later and about five miles west of here, football teams from Belmont and Watertown High School squared off for the very first time. Final score of that 1921 contest was Watertown 25, Belmont nothing. Today, these two crosstown rivals face off for the 100th time on a gridiron that they are playing on for the very first time. Here we go. The 100th meeting between Belmont and Watertown from Fenway Park is underway. And there's William McHugh on the return for Watertown. McHugh still on his oh. feet, and now he's in the open field. He'll be tackled right at the 50 by number 25 of the Marauders, Miles Torres. First and 10, here's Kakachi throwing downfield, and that will be caught for a first down. That's William McHugh, the senior running back, linebacker, and their receiver. Here is a Kakachi keeping it himself, running inside the five, close to the goal line, and he is in for a Watertown Raider touchdown. Johnny Kakachi with his seventh rushing touchdown of the season, and the Raiders strike first in this 100th matchup. The a point after by Rafael Magalhaes is up and good. So it'll be third down and goal coming up with 15 seconds left. Rolling out quickly, here we go. Arno's looking, Arno looking. He's not. He's gonna try to run, he is, but he's gonna get knocked out of bounds around the five. There was, oh, uh, here late was, hit. yeah, out of bounds. Arno was hit out of bounds. That's late hit of the flag. Personal foul on Watertown, I would presume here, is uh, Jaden Arno was hit out of bounds. I think this is just gonna be one play before the half, and the Marauders are gonna, they're gonna run for it here. Let's see, it goes to Asa Rosenmeyer, and he is, into the Into end the zone! Touchdown. Asa Rosenmeyer up the middle. And the Marauders now an extra point away from tying up the ball game on the final play of this first half. Here we go, getting ready for the fourth quarter. Watertown all the way uh, down just outside the Belmont 10. Big drive here for the Raiders. Direct snap goes to Peyton Andre. He turned in the corner. Andre is inside the five, and it'll be first and goal. And it's high formation, second and goal. Handoff, and another tackle, but not in time. It's gonna be good for a Watertown touchdown. William McHugh with a two yard touchdown run. It comes with 10 minutes and 20 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. So it's gonna be fourth and three. The ball is at the Watertown 27. Marauders have to get to at least the 24 yard line to keep this drive going. And they go to Garung. Garung hit immediately, spinning, trying to break loose. Doesn't get there. Oh my, what a big tackle and the man of the hour, number eight, Anthony Shorter, who came into the game with 50 tackles and he makes the big fourth down tackle. Third and three, Belmont Marauder defense has got to come up with a stop. Gonna be a direct snap and it's oh. a big run in the open field for William McHugh and Millie, William McHugh, there's a flag down and William McHugh's gonna take it to the house for a Watertown touchdown. Beautiful run, found a big opening up the middle and, uh, and then exploited the space in the backfield. So Belmont will start first and 10 at their own 17 and there's just a minute 32 left in the game. Here is uh, Arno, he's hit as he throws it, it's gonna be intercepted. And perhaps appropriately enough, I believe that might just be number seven, William McHugh, who picked off that pass because it has definitely been his second half. It's gonna be a very uh, tasty and satisfying turkey dinner tomorrow for the Kakachi family and all the parents of all the Watertown players as uh, they emerge victorious here by a final count of 21 to seven.
a once in a lifetime opportunity right here. I was just happy to come out and play. Work all year to finish it up just like this and so happy for our kids. I couldn't have asked for anything more. I couldn't have asked for anything more for the past four years, especially not tonight. It's been one of the greatest experiences of my life and I'll remember it forever. For the rest of our lives, we can say that our senior year, we played our very last game at Fenway Park and we, we beat Belmont.